Hello, Daily Dosers. My name is Taylor, and I am one of the junior high pastors at our Vista campus. And I wanna give you some encouragement today from a story about me when I was a toddler. You see, when I was younger, I had something that I needed with me every single night for me to fall asleep. And it wasn't Big Bird, it wasn't Elmo, it wasn't a stuffed animal at all. It was actually my baby blanket. And I was very creative in what I named my baby blanket. I named it Baby. <laughs> and I needed Baby with me every single night for me to be able to fall asleep. You see, if I did not have Baby, if I could not find Baby, then I was not going to sleep that night. I remember one night specifically when I think I was five years old, it was time to go to bed, I'm looking for Baby, and I can't find baby anywhere. I'm searching in my bed. I'm searching in my parents' bed. I'm searching on all the couches, can't find baby. And the longer that it takes me for, it longer it takes for me to find the blanket, the more I'm starting to cry because of the realization that I'm not gonna sleep tonight. So I keep looking and finally I find my baby blanket in my mom's car. And because I found it, I was able to sleep peacefully that night. Now, here's something that's cool about moms is they keep everything of their kids and luckily she kept my baby blanket and now I have it in my possession because I like to uh, tell the story whenever I speak and I have the baby blanket to show you guys. So I wanna grab it, here it is, okay? Look at how torn up this blanket is. It's ripped up, it's stained, it's definitely off-white. <laughs> It smells a little bit funky. Um, this is not in good shape at all. And what is funny though, is that that story I just told you about when I could not find my blanket, you see the blanket was in this exact shape. It's not like this now because we just put it in a drawer and I never used it. No, that wouldn't make any sense. It's this torn up because this is how much I used it when I was a toddler. And this is the shape that it was in when I could not find it that night. And if I was being honest with you guys, so often in my life, I feel like this baby blanket. And what I mean by that is I feel imperfect. Oftentimes it's because of the things I've done in my life. I'm a sinful person. I say things I shouldn't. I do things that I shouldn't. And because of that, I feel, I feel insignificant at times. Like this thing kind of looks... And other times people say things or do things to me and I just feel like I really don't matter. But you see, I pursued after this blanket and me and my sinful state and you and your sinful state, Jesus pursued after you. Now, why do I tell you this? And what does this have to do with 3rd John this week? Well, Larry in a sermon shared the best piece of advice that he had ever been given and it was this. You have no one to impress and you have nothing to prove. Now, why is that true? Well, because of the story I just shared with you. You see, even in my sinful, broken state, where I couldn't prove anything, I couldn't prove how good I was, how perfect I was, Jesus pursued after that. Yes, there is a truth that this is me, I'm imperfect, but there's a greater truth that despite that, Jesus loves me and he loves you too. That should give you so much confidence in who you are. You see, in the book of 3 John, we looked at the villain, Diotrephes, and he was a guy that had bad leadership because he always wanted to be first. And Larry talked about that had to do with his insecurity about who he was. But us as believers in Jesus and the truth about how much he loves us and pursues after us, we should understand and we should be so secure in who we are and that should lead us to serve not to be first, not to be prideful. I think of that Christian song that says, I don't need my name in lights. I'm already famous in my father's eyes. Guys, that is so true. Let's take that confidence about who we are, how loved we are, how much we matter, how significant we are to God, the only one that really matters, and let's go out and let's serve other people this week. And hey, if we're treated as servants, that's okay because servanthood is what makes us great. And really, if we're treated like servants, that's okay because God has his eyes on us. Let's go out and let's serve this week.